Hello again everybody, in this video newsletter we're going to be talking about our sniff and spit event. Hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody and welcome to the Mind Adrenaline at the Wine Cellars. Today I'm joined by Rebecca who's going to talk to us about our sniff and spit event. Hello Rebecca. Hello Simon. Thanks very much for coming in. Sniff and spit. Sounds a bit rude, is it? Uh, no, not at all. Sniffing and spitting, that's what you do when you're tasting. It's the essence of tasting. Everything your mother told you not to do, you can do at a sniff and spit event. It's fun, it's an interactive team event, a poke in the eye to the wine snob. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. Before you hear a little more about the event itself, um, obviously you need to be some kind of expert to run this. Um, I drink quite a lot of wine. Does that make me a master? Well, it does help. You definitely need to have had lots of okay. experience. You generally need to travel a lot as well. I actually have a, a master's from Adelaide University in winemaking and marketing. I've also got smelling qualifications from Italy, the trade diploma from the UK. I helped set up the Vinopolis City of Wine in London and I've drawn together all my experiences to create a fun, interactive wine tasting team challenge. Sounds fantastic. Yes, yes. lots of drinking, it's very hands-on. Okay, well, as it is very hands-on, yes. or should I say lips-on, um, <laughs> I think I'll tuck into this champagne. Or is it? Oh, I genuinely do not know whether this is champagne or not. Um, what do you suggest I do? Well, the first thing I would do is I would look at, at the colour and the size of the bubbles and Generally with champagne, you're looking at a, a wine that has got a hint of colour. It's not very pale. What do you do? You think this might be a champagne, or is it very, very pale? Mm, no, I think it's kind of like a light gold colour, like yes. kind of light gold maybe. And the bubbles are very tiny, very fine. Yes, almost like pinpricks. And yeah. that 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 is a sign again, very persistent. Lots of them, and that's a sign that it might be champagne. But just from looking at it, it's very hard. Okay. So we need to sniff. Okay. And we've left a bit of space so you can do that, so you can swirl the glass and stick your nose in. What do you notice? Is it just fresh, fruity, useful, fruity flavours or is it...? getting fruity smells, but more kind of like, like a toast or sort of yeast Ooh, Very or, good, Simon. Uh, but it's a bit more You've complex. Drinking, yes, very good, yes. Okay. And that is a sign that it's definitely been aged on the cell, so that colour would show that it's had a bit of ageing. The smell of autolysis we call it okay. would indicate that also that it's been aged on the dead yeast cell so second fermentation in the bottle it's all a good sign it's complex probably champagne let's have a taste mm. you drank it i did drink it I didn't we didn't spit no what does I, that mean well i i'm guessing that it's going to be champagne and it is and it is Perry Lovely. Fresh, elegant, lots of finesse. Lovely, rich, toasty, biscuity kind of characters. Fantastic. Cheers. Well, thanks for the champagne, Rebecca. Pleasure. Um, so what sort, of a, what sort of occasions would this event really work for? Well, I, I believe that it's very versatile. You can use it as an icebreaker. You can use it as part of management training. You can use it as a, as a, a, at a conference, pre-dinner event, post-dinner event, uh, team away day. So many myriad of, of, of uses of, of, of wine tasting. But well, where can these events be like? Well, we believe that you can hold wine tasting almost anywhere. We've held wine tastings on boats, at uh, people's offices, uh, restaurants, hotels. We've even held wine tastings around a campfire. How many people would you say it works best for? Well, it can work very well for even a small group of six, up to a hundred, by the same maximum. Fantastic. What sort of things do you actually cover as part of the event? Well, as you know, it's very hands-on, and uh, we really, we really try and make people tune into their caveman and women instincts. So it's all about fine-tuning your senses. It's about tackling a series of team games. We actually even get people blending wine. We get people marketing their wine. 
um, we play a little bit of Cool My Bluff, so put your bluffing skills to the test. We have a lot of fun. Fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Rebecca. Um, personally, I can't think of anything better than a great team of in, um, combined with some wine. Um, and actually, you might even learn something to impress your mates down the pub. So, thanks again. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>